yeah, I'm in the courtroom. I'm crying. They're, they're, you know, they're saying, oh, you've got to go to Stamford House Secure Unit, which is on Goldhawk Road, Shepherd's Bush. And that was my first taste of, of, real, of prison because you're not allowed to, to leave there or nothing. Mm. It's like a, a, a prison, but a schoolboy prison. Yeah. And people like Chris Eubank were there. Who was Chris? He protected me. Yeah. I liked him. Mm-hmm. He used to always laugh when he used to see me because I was so small because we used to go on the football pitch and Mr. Simons, he was there. And even they, they, they wanted me to play for their, for their team as well. But yeah, three months there, a bit of a crybaby because there was all other little children there that were in for burglaries and robberies early on. And I was only in, I, well, not only in, but I was in for, for such a thing. But I never really used to talk about the crime. I didn't, didn't really want no one to know about it. And... It's funny, the, the, he died, the geezer, later on, a few weeks from, from a head injury or something. Mm-hmm. I remember his name. But, um, not because of me, but, mm. you know, he died. But obviously, the, he's an abuser as well because he attacked me and threw me out the, the thing. He might have been not the one that was doing stuff to me. But, you know, I got to Stanford House and, you know, my first taste, but I was weak then, small. I tried to run away a couple of times. They put me in this little block thing because they had those little, like a wooden bed, but it was like a cell door. Mm -hmm. That's like at 12, 13, Um, James. And then they said, oh, we're not going to send you to an approved school this time. We're going to send you to another children's home. And I was over the moon because I was too scared to go to an approved school. But I got a children's home in Mozart State. And the school wouldn't have me back. So I lost out on that. I just like to mention my school teacher who everybody was scared of, Miss Harding, an old lady. Everybody was frightened of her. Uh, she used to always come to the children's home on Easter and Christmas and bring me presents with her uh, army husband. And I used to think she was a bad woman, but I realise now in later life that really she felt what I couldn't see. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I mean? And yeah. uh, that's another angel that I look at that I didn't see then. I used to hide when she used to come because she weren't my mum. I used to think, oh, I don't want her to come. But you'd have been scared of any adult at that time that you weren't getting, trying to get manipulated again and bullied and abused. So you'd have been fearful of anyone that came into your life, especially the ones who were good. Yeah. That you'd have questioned everything. Probably even to this day you'll question everything, but to be then you'd have been probably scared. Yeah. That she was actually trying to help you. Help. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good one, James. Mm -hmm. Oi, James. And then after Stanford House, all the, the Mozart. Because this is my fondest ever memories living in Mozart. Mm-hmm. Not um, Listen Green and Labrack Grove. and Because that was where I met all the young burglars and good ones, if you like. <laughs> I know, like yeah. bad now. Mm-hmm. But, you know, back then, the West London lot were a bit more suave and had a bit more swag, if you like, than the rest of the areas. People might be open to debate. But, you know, we were surrounded by a lot of nice places mm-hmm. where you could steal and get decent yeah. money from quite early but it's scary that Chris Eubank it shows you he channeled his anger and aggression down the boxing route yeah, and became yeah. one of the greatest boxers yeah do you know what I mean it's in life it's crazy how we channel things and see things differently and where we get our kicks from where we get our adrenaline rushes he was obviously blessed he had a talent and he's used it he probably still got that to this day I think people don't really understand his character he's got a phenomenal story so it's he has Chris. It's very deep. Yeah, and I, 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 I spoke I, to him a couple of times. I'm yeah. actually trying to get him on the podcast. But him, people see him as he's like a character. He's like yeah. a Disney character. Yeah, but but when you break all that shit down, man, he's actually a good guy because I know the guy was it Michael Watson. I think he was boxing. Yeah, and ended his I career. But yeah. he does a lot of charity work still. I think for for him. To he this was day. big for his age, James. Was he? Or oh, unless it was because I was small and I was getting bullied by some geezer called Morris Lewis. How do you remember their names? Because I, I'm fo- with dates, times, being out, at what prisons I went to, mm-hmm. it's all clocked into my mind. Yeah. Because that's all I've ever done. What happened with the bully? He, he said, leave him alone. And they were head to head. He said, leave, leave Sammy alone. And he was sticking up for me. And, mm-hmm. you know, it all got stopped and everything. But I remember that bit. And, yeah, once I got to Mozart, um, it all started. 